to the 2020-2021 Sixth Grade Academic Awards Ceremony. I am Jody Howell, the Sixth Grade Assistant Principal, and I am thrilled to preside over the ceremony today to honor our sixth grade students who have shown excellence as learners and school citizens. At this time, Dr. Kashaba will welcome you to our ceremony. Thank you. I'd like to begin our, by acknowledging our program director tonight, who's handling so many of our details, Ms. Casey Brundage, as well as Mr. Rogers and the entire committee for making tonight's event such a special occasion. All of these individuals are being recognized more specifically in our digital program, which can be found on our school website at cpschools.com slash WBM. Thank you to all of these individuals. The Academic Award Ceremony is the most prestigious event that we hold each year. It's at this time that we stop and reflect on all of our students and their numerous accomplishments. This year's accomplishments are even more special as our students were shining stars during a global pandemic. So congratulations go out to all of our students who remained engaged with school and attending their classes. And to those of you who are being honored tonight, you're commended for such things as earning high grades, displaying exceptionally good citizenship, and showing inspirational leadership. This year has been one of our most unique years that any of us have ever experienced. Yes, we had our fair share of challenges, but my overall feeling is that despite those hurdles, Bruins were able to overcome and make this one of our best years ever. It comes down to choices. Do you choose to have a good attitude and say, I can do this? Or do you choose a less optimistic view? I assure you, tonight's honorees had the right attitude throughout the year. I prefer to see the opportunities that this year has allowed instead of the drawbacks. So tonight, we refocus our efforts on the great aspects of life that are still out there, like being a Bruin, at WBMS, we take pride in recognizing our students for their various accomplishments. And we have some incredible award winners to highlight tonight. Due to our current circumstances, students will receive their certificates and medals in the following ways. We will have option one students receive their medals next week during their lunchtime. Option two students can pick up their awards in the library on the day that they drop off their textbooks and Chromebooks. Now, on with the show. Thank you, Dr. Kashaba. We will now begin recognizing our outstanding Bruins. The Art Award goes to Michaela Baux. Michaela is an outstanding student and a pleasure to teach. She is kind, respectful, and a wonderful artist. She never missed a Zoom meeting and always turned her work in on time. Her teacher is looking forward to teaching her again next year. The Band Award goes to Katrin Cadel. Katrin is an outstanding Bruin Band member because her desire is to always do her best. Kat listens, takes directions well, and has the follow through that is necessary to be an excellent musician. The Bruin Ambition Award goes to Dayon Curry. Dayon is a sixth grade option two student. He has great attendance and arrives to class on time and is always willing to contribute to classroom activities. Dayan is very respectful to his teachers and others. His hard work has been reflected in his grades. The next awards we will share today are the Bruin Inspiration Awards. This particular award goes to students who persevere regardless of difficult circumstances. They shine and always strive for their best. These students are truly inspirational. Our first Bruin Inspiration winner is Ni nee Vu. Ni nee is an English language learner. However, she does not let the language barrier stand in her way of achieving academic excellence. She is a dedicated sixth grade student who works hard. She has strong work ethic and a sweet demeanor that can turn any frown into a smile. Congratulations, Nee. Lane Mueller is another truly inspirational student. Lane has made tremendous progress this school year. She is helpful and sensible to her peers during class. She is willing to accept responsibility and is very conscientious of her schoolwork. Congratulations, Lane. 
Nee and Lane received their medals in a previous ceremony, but we wanted to acknowledge them in front of everyone during this ceremony. The next award is the Chorus Award. The 2021 sixth grade Most Outstanding Bruin Chorus Award recipient is Bryce Cozell. Bryce has pushed himself throughout the entire year and experienced much success due to his strong work ethic. Bryce is responsible, mature, respectful, and has displayed top-notch musicianship. Bryce is also a leader in his class and leads by example. Congratulations, Bryce. The Exploratory World Language Award goes to Braxton Walls. Braxton is an excellent student in Exploratory World Language class. He always comes to class with enthusiasm and excitement. He is always practicing his language skills and would greet his teachers in the target language each day. Braxton is a joy to teach, according to his teachers. The Family and Consumer Science Award goes to Kenya Moody. Kenya came to class eager and willing to help, always going above and beyond, completing her work and then assisting others without even being asked. Confidence, a pleasant attitude, and a great smile always came with her. A leader she is, and Ms. Teslar sees a very bright future coming her way and looks forward to having her again in her class. The Orchestra Award goes to Eric Parsons. When the orchestra director asked Eric what his favorite subject was, he said, all of them. I just like learning. This has proven to be evident all year. His commitment to his education is highly impressive. He is diligent, dedicated, and disciplined. He is a passionate, outstanding viola player. I am excited to see what the future will hold for Eric, says Ms. Rowe. The PE award goes to five students, one from each of our physical education teachers. Our first PE recipient is Blake David Barnhart. Blake went above and beyond the expectations in PE. He not only participated in PE every day with his camera on so he could be seen completing the activities, he also turned in his fitness logs every week and included extra fitness that he did towards his log. The next PE recipient is Alejandro the Jedi Seda Betancourt. He has made this school year so much fun and participates in the workouts every day in Zoom. He always has some new tech gear to show us. He is awesome. Jeremiah Mason is also a PE award winner. He always gives 110% effort in physical education. He goes above and beyond to be the best he can be. Danielle Sayre is a sixth grade PE award winner. She has such a positive attitude and works hard every day in face-to-face -face PE and in virtual PE. Congratulations also goes to Alson Shiner. She is always prepared and gives her best effort every day. Your PE teacher wishes you the best in seventh grade, Alson. The Technology Award goes to Ava Swilly. Although Ava took technology all the way back in the first quarter of the school year, when it came time to pick the outstanding award winner, she quickly came to Mr. Rogers' mind. His favorite memory of Ava revolves around the first day of hybrid teaching, students in class and online. On that first day, Ava attended the class online. To say that class went horrible is an understatement. Technical difficulties and teacher confusion caused those issues. I went home and Mr. Rogers told his wife how badly his first hybrid class had gone. And his wife told him that she was sure it wasn't as bad as he thought it was. The next day, Ava attended class in person. So Mr. Rogers started the class with an apology for how bad things had gone the previous day. And after saying his apology, um, he heard Ava say, not in a mean way, but in a helpful way, it was terrible. Her comment made me laugh and realized things could only get better. Ava is one of the most upbeat sixth graders to come through Mr. Rogers' technology class. Every day she came to class with a great attitude and a smile. She did stellar work in class 
and she was always willing to help other students. She simply was awesome. At this time, we're going to share our specialty award winners with students that have earned a 3.8 grade point average honor roll for the entire school year. Jimena Yurigas Aragus, Jack Arnold, Blake Davis Barnhart, Alson Shiner, Taylor Sivils, Ava Swilly, and Samantha Williams. We will now recognize students that maintained a 3.9 GPA Principal's Honor Roll for the 2020-2021 school year. Haley Bandura, Kayla Green, Trinity Holmes, Christian Jordan, Ellie Costal, Kenya Moody, James Mosley, Eric Parsons, Kaya Prophet, Danielle Sayre, Jackson Sellers, Leah Shabazz, Sarah Tepovich, Magdalene Tawalid, and Alex White. Congratulations, students. Moving forward, we will now announce the sixth grade students that have maintained a 4.0 GPA, Superintendent's Honor Roll, for the entire year. This is quite an accomplishment. We have Vedant Bendy, Michaela Baux, Peyton Durant, Ethan Joyce, Bryce Cozell and Lauren Shabazz. Congratulations. Our last award is the Principal's Award and will be presented by Dr. Kashava. The Principal's Award. This recognition is assigned to one student per grade level each year who has either worked closely with me on one or more projects or has demonstrated outstanding school performance during a less than ideal time. While there are numerous students who qualify for this award, I challenge myself each year to name one student who has risen above the others with their selfless acts of leadership and contributions to improving our school's culture. In essence, this is a student who has not only made our school a better place to attend, but if this student was not attending WBMS, our school would not be as great as it is. This year's recipient is a student who is one of the kindest, hardest working, and well-behaved students at our school. Every time I speak with him, his positive energy brings a smile to my face. It's with great pride that I recognize Edward Brown as this year's sixth grade principal award winner. Thank you, Dr. Kashava. I would like to take a moment to recognize the family members that have supported these students this school year. You have been an important piece of the puzzle of success for your children. They are fortunate to have such a positive support system their teachers thank you for being such a constructive influence in their educational careers. I would also like to thank the teachers who have been instrumental in molding our sixth graders into successful middle school students, even during a pandemic. Without your innate ability to nurture, guide, and mentor our students with a little patience dabbled in, our students would not have been nearly as successful. In closing, I would like to share a quote from the late John Denver. I would so much like young people to have a sense of the gift that they are. Not many of them feel like that. Students, you are all gifts. Gifts to your families, gifts to your teachers, gifts to Western Branch Middle School. Thank you for simply being you and keep up the great work.